The SNMP Trap interface is on the admin page in the XI interface and on the left sidebar in the monitoring config section. When you click on the link, the first tab of the SNMP Trap interface shows received traps, which you won't have yet. Once we define some traps and receive a trap of that type, it will show up here. The first thing we need to do is generate trap definitions for the trap receiver component. The easiest way to define traps is to pull them from MIBS. To do so, click on the Manage MIBS link in the left sidebar. Make sure to leave the top checkbox on this page checked. You can add trap definitions to XI when you upload custom MIBS by checking the Process Traps box. You can also pull the trap definitions from every MIB on the system by clicking the Process All Traps button, or you can add trap definitions on a MIB by MIB basis by clicking the right arrow button on the MIB line. Sometimes, though, MIBs are incomplete and don't include definitions for some of the traps a device can send, so you get to define those traps manually. Let's add a trap definition in the second tab here. In the topmost section of this page, we handle the trap details. The OID field is the critical detail, as the OID is what the system matches up to the definition when a trap comes in. All the other fields in this section can be defined as best suits your needs in your environment. In the next section down, we define how the trap handling subsystem sends the trap as a passive check to the Nagios passive check workflow. When we check the box and fill in the fields in this section, we allow Nagios to handle the trap as a standard passive check. When we fill in this section, the first time this trap comes in, it will appear on the Unconfigured Objects page, where it can be quickly configured as a passive check. The host name, check status, and service output fields can use macros. Click the question mark to see what macros are available. In the exec section, we can set up one or multiple commands to run when a trap is received. Last on this page is the advanced section, where you can configure additional functionality. Once you've defined your trap, you can find it and edit it on the Defined Traps tab. Here in the Advanced tab, we've got a number of testing options. Check out the unknown trap log down at the bottom. If you don't see a trap you're expecting to, you might just find it in this log. If you find a trap in this log you thought you had defined, double check that the OID in your definition matches the OID that is actually received. The last thing we're going to take a look at in this tutorial is the last step in the workflow of going from receiving a trap to getting a passive check result in the XI interface. Once we have the trap defined, with Passive Service Setup checked, the XI Trap interface will recognize the trap when it comes in. You'll see it on the list of received traps. We still have to make a Nagios config for the trap, though, so click here on the left sidebar on Unconfigured Objects, where you will see your trap. Configure the service, and the next time the trap comes in, you'll see it here in the interface. That's all you need to know to set up the SNMP Trap interface in Nagios XI. Questions? Comments? Let us know in the section below. Download Nagios XI from the link in the description below, and you'll be monitoring in no time.